Hi all, Bill Greenberg with FloanScholar.com. Today is Monday, June 21st, 2010. For those of you and us in Los Angeles who are Laker fans, congratulations. Today's Laker Day. They're having the parade today. And I uh, hope everybody had a good day with that. For those of you who are fathers, hope you guys had a, everybody had a great, great Father's Day. Fortunately, my Father's Day was spent at home while my wife waited two hours in a parking lot for a tow truck because her starter went out in her car after she went out to get special ingredients to make me a special breakfast. So that's okay. I had food poisoning on Mother's Day to ruin her, so who knows what's going on with that. And then, uh, of course, for everybody else around the world, it's iPhone iOS 4 release date. For those of you who have iPhone 3s or 3GSs or second generation iPhones, go get those updated because you can do that. And here's a summary of what's on the website today, including the instructions how to do it. Here's a real quick instruction for those of you who want step by step. Uh, first thing you can do is either go to www.apple.com slash iPhone slash software updates. Or here are the four steps that you're going to need to do. The first step is you need to make sure that you're downloaded uh, iTunes 9.2. Make sure you have done that. Uh, again, you can go that to the software updates. After you've done that, connect your phone to the computer. Then pick your iPhone, whichever iPhone you have, uh, under devices in the source list on the left-hand side. And in the iPhone summary pane, click check for update. Then click and download the update. Now, you have to make sure not to unplug the phone until the download is completely done. Uh, based on some of the comments that I've seen on some of these, they are the looks like the downloads are taking a little bit longer. In tomorrow's video, I'm sure I'll have some updates into how smoothly this all ran. But go ahead and check it out. And again, like I said, you can get um, second generation. Actually, I'll go into that in a second. But that's the first article on the website today to show step by step. Or I also have the link that takes you to the iTunes, the Apple website link that'll take you on the step-by-step step step instructions also, so take a look at that. Second article is what you must know for iPhone upgrade day. And what this is is a 10 minute video and basically it shows you all basically of uh, the new features that are going to be in the new iPhone iOS, excuse me, the iOS 4 Apple upgrade. I apologize, I'm using the wrong terminology here. iOS 4 Apple upgrade, some of the things. It's a really great 10 minute video. There's also in categories I put a, uh, an article in there that says five ways Apple's iOS 4 breathes new life into the iPhone. Now the reason why I didn't put that into the main article is because it's really, really long and it goes really, really in depth into w even more of what the video shows into the upgrades, what you can get, stuff like that. That's in the categories under Apple and iPhone, so go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, the next, <clears throat> excuse me, also under the 10 minute video, uh, just as I was saying, 3G phones, 3GS phones, second generation iPhones, not the first generation iPhones, but with the 3G and second generation iPhones, you will be able to download the new software, but it won't get all the features. The 3GS will get all the features, including the multitasking and everything like that, that the new iPhone 4 will have. So just to let you know how that's kind of working, um, and that's basically it for that, that part of the article. Next article, how to tether your HTC Evo, Evo Sorry, I keep calling it EVO, I apologize. EVO 4G for free. Now remember, tethering costs anywhere from $20 to $30. It looks like the CDMA versions of most Android phones you can do this with, and the video shows you how to do that. Uh, it's specifically designed that one for the EVO, but according to what they're saying, uh, the CDMA versions, which means the Sprint or Verizon versions of the Android phones, you could do this with most of them. Uh, and you'll have to check it out to see if the apps are available and they will download. They won't say that it'll absolutely do it. The problem with the uh, GSM ones is that the SIM chip that's in the AT&T and the T-Mobile basically alert the phone that you're trying to do this and it stops it to make you pay for that tethering feature. So if you have an Android phone that's either Sprint or Verizon Wireless, check it out. You can get tethering for free. You don't have to pay the extra 30 bucks. Really good deal. It can save you hundreds of dollars. And then lastly, uh, Barnes & Noble introduces a Nook Wi-Fi, which is really cool, for $149.99, and they lowered the price of their 3G Nook to $199, which means they're the first ones offering full-featured ebook readers under $200, which is really cool. Uh, a couple of other features that you get with the Nooks is that obviously they'll work at any Barnes & Noble, both the Wi-Fi and 3G for free, 
any AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots, if you update to the new 1.4 version of the software, will also give you free access at any AT&T Wi-Fi hotspot. So take a look at that. It's being sold through Barnes & Noble and through Best Buy. So take a look. Some really good stuff. Under categories, under Android, Evo, and HTC, the HTC Evo 4G coming to Best Buy in bright white. West Best Buy is going to have about a one-month exclusive. There are pre-orders for it right now. There's a link uh, on the under the categories on the website that I put in there in that article that takes you directly to the Best Buy site that you can pre-order the white Evo. They're going to have an exclusive for about a month. It start, It comes out July 11th, and then it says Sprint will start selling the white one August 8th, along with, they haven't quite announced Radio Shack and Walmart, well, they'll have them, but they will have them eventually also. So check that out. Under Verizon Wireless, Verizon Wireless to hire 200 customer care reps and tech support. Uh, it's going to be in the New York area, but how that works, how that helps us all out, is let's say it, it, it will be nationwide because they have what's called called the rollover system. You know, let's say you call customer care and all your the, the closest uh, call centers to you are busy. It will roll over into the next closest one and next and next and next. So depending where you are in the country, that's how they work. And the only thing I could say is the more people they hire, the better it is because that way they answer, they, they answer the phone a lot quicker. And for those of you who deal a lot with Verizon Wireless, the one thing they do have, they do answer their phones very, very quickly. It may take a while to resolve some issues, but they do do a very good job on that. And then, like I said, lastly, under Apple and iPhone, Five Ways Apple's iOS 4 breathes new life into the iPhone. And I already told that. That's a very, very in-depth article. Very long, though, on how it, uh, the uh, new software, what features it has, stuff like that. So check it out. As for everything else, www.phonescholar.com. Send me questions at blogquestions at phonescholar.com. Like I said, tomorrow I'm sure I'll have some updates and reviews on how well the iOS 4 updates went. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.